Here we have a Lenovo E450. This is the same laptop as E455 and E450C. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. Remember to put your laptop on something soft so you don't damage it or scratch it when you move it around. And we're going to flip to the back to begin. So, we have to remove the following screws, which I already removed, there's three of them, to remove the back cover. There's this little gap here for you to shove your finger in, to lift it up. Please note I have removed the most of the screws on this laptop before we begin. So here's the hard drive, here's the wireless card, it's a 3G, 4G card, bias battery, RAM slot 1, RAM slot 2, there's 16 gigs max of DDR3 since there's two slots. So to remove the RAM, you pull out the two sides, the RAM comes up. So like I said before, you can get max 8 gigs in each slot and it's DDR3 only, which is DDR3 low voltage. So here's your hard drive. There's actually four screws holding the hard drive, two screws holding the hard drive down. I don't have a hard drive cage, so it doesn't apply to me. And you push the hard drive forward to remove it, or downwards in the video direction. Please note the hard drive is a thin hard drive, which is 7mm. The normal hard drives are 9mm. So I'm just going to get a hard drive to show you. So here it is. The normal hard drive is on your left, the black one, and the thin hard drive is on your right. It's a lot thinner not really, well 2mm thinner. The thick ones don't actually fit in, so just be aware of that. So here, we're going to remove the wireless card. Remember to remove your wireless cables first, and there's one screw holding the wireless card down. After you remove the screw, it pops up and just remove it. This is the M.2 wireless card. So you need to remove this. This is your battery cable. That's your sound cable. You also need to remove that as well. Now to remove, we need to remove all the screws on the back. So I'm just pointing it out to you now where all the screws are. I've already removed all the screws. So we need to open the laptop now to access the keyboard. So to remove the keyboard, we need to push it downwards in your direction. To me, it's upwards. And then it comes up. Drag it out slowly as there's cables attached to the board. Behind one cable, there's another cable. One, the first cable was the keyboard cable. The second cable is the red nipple that Lenovo likes. Some people like to use it. It's that red dot, the mouse pad. There's a few screws under the keyboard, which I'm pointing out to you now. There should be around five of them that you need to remove. Oh, well, six of them. Seven of the screws you need to remove before you can pr use your prying tool to pry around the keyboard um, to remove the cover. So I already removed the screws and I'm just going to pry open the keyboard surround now.
So now I'm finished. Remember to remove these cables. So one of the, one of them is the light, one of them is your fingerprint reader, and the other one is your mouse pad. There's one there, that's actually your USB daughter board cable. You don't actually have to remove it. It's up to you if you want to remove it or not. So now we're gonna remove the motherboard. I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you where all the screws are that you need to remove to remove it. You also have to remove these cables. This cable here is the LCD cable that you have to remove. This here is your power cable. No, sorry about that. That's the fan fan power cable. You also need to remove this screw. You don't have to remove this screw here, but by removing it and removing the daughter board, it makes it slightly easier for you to remove the motherboard. So that's why I removed it a bit. So these fan screws we need to remove as the fan holds down the motherboard. The fans attached to the heatsink, which the heatsink is attached to the motherboard. Therefore, we have to remove the fan screws for us to remove our motherboard. Removing the motherboard is slightly hard. You just need to move your motherboard left, right a bit, wiggle it out. Here we go. So here, to remove the heatsink, <coughs> we have to remove four screws for the CPU and three screws for the graphic card. You can remove the screws in any order, but when you place it back, there's numbers next to the screw holes telling you what order you need to screw it back in the screws. When you remove the heatsink, you need to remove the old thermal paste and replace it with new thermal paste. Thermal paste is really important, so don't be cheap on it. It only costs $10 per tube, you can probably use it 15 times, and you can most likely only use it once in your life.
You don't need any special liquids or alcohol solutions to clean off the thermal paste. You can just use a towel or a tissue and it comes off. So after unscrewing all the screws, So after, after undoing all the screws, you just lift up your fan and it comes off. Oh, you're sorry, your, your heat sink. So we need to clean off here all these thermal paste. So I'm just going to get my cloth. Like I said before, you can just use your normal cloth or towel. Try to clean it as best as possible. It doesn't have to be 100% clean. As long as the top is clean and a bit shiny, that's good enough. Be careful when you're cleaning it so that thermal paste leftover residue on your towel doesn't drop onto your motherboard. If it just does, just clean it off or just push it off actually. So here is just to show you, it's all clean. I just need to clean my heatsink as well. I'm just going to take it off screen and it's a lot easier for me to clean. And when you clean your heatsink, do not place it on top of your motherboard when you're cleaning it as residue can drop down from it and drop onto your motherboard making you waste more time cleaning your motherboard. So here you go, I'm done. Just clean it until it's clean enough. Or clean to the best you can. So these back dots here is your graphic card RAM, just to show you. And there's two on the other side of this motherboard as well. So here's my thermal paste, Arctic Silver 5. This costs around $10 Australian. And you can use it around 15 times. So we want to put half a rice grain of it on each chip. So the CPU has two. We want to put it in the center don't spread it out and the graphic card has one so just put half a rice grain on it it will spread out automatically when you put the heatsink on top of it and screw it down So here's your heating. Just going to show you the numbers on it. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's a bit hard to see, but if you have the heatsink in front of you, you'll be able to see it. So you want to place your heatsink, align your heatsink with the screw holes. Try not to press it down, as you you'll press it down with your screws, and that way that the heatsink, the thermal paste will be spread out evenly.
that's about it. Thanks for watching. This disassembly is relatively really easy. The screws, most of the screws are the same size. There's only two different types of screws, so be be careful and remember where you unscrew the screw from and where the screw comes in. As putting the wrong screw in the wrong hole can make it pierce through the other side and damage your motherboard. Thanks for watching.